Hello YouTube, Ugly Prepper here. It's a beautiful day outside in Alabama. Thought I would show you what I use to make char cloth. I found this old uh, number 10 can out in the woods. Poked a bunch of holes in it. This is what I make my char cloth in. I hope y'all can see that. Um... And I took, uh, this is something else I found out in the woods. It uh, was something for a stove. It goes under the eye of a stove. I took it and uh, made it where I could set it up here on, set it up here on top. And I could set my, uh, my char cloth container up here on the top and let it get real hot. You can see I've got my t-shirt material in there. It's ready to go. It's 100% cotton. Very important. Uh, but before I light this fire and everything, I thought I would show you some, uh, this here is another 100% cotton t-shirt, but I wanted to show you this little bottom seam right here. This little bottom seam makes an excellent, um, wick for candles. And, of course, you can, uh, you can take any kind of uh, all vegetable shortening and make candles out of it. These are plastic containers. They don't come in metal anymore, so I don't trust them being in my house. So I found this old jar. You can, you can tell by the, the ring and the lid how old it is. It's been out in the woods for a long time. But I found this old jar and poured my stuff for the candle in here. And this wick right here is this part of the t-shirt. So I cut those parts off and use those for wick material, for candles and stuff like that. And then, um, This is the one I've currently got cut up. I'm not going to cut that one up until I use all this one up. But, uh, they have some of that around the sleeves and stuff, too. Uh, so, anyway, I thought that would be a good little tip. If you ever want to make some good long-burning emergency candles, you know, you could, uh, use those little strips on the bottom to make your wick material for that. And on this shirt right here, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, probably not, but it says it's 100% cotton, and that's very important, because if it isn't cotton, it'll just melt, it won't do right. Alright, so what I'll do is, if I can see it, I'm going to pause this video, get this fire started, and then we'll be back with you. Okay, we're back, y'all. This fire is very hot. Wind is blowing today, uh, which is making it burn a lot hotter. Uh, This little booger right here is hot already. Notice I've got my hole in the top. That's a new hole, y'all. I didn't, uh, I didn't have a hole in this thing when I did it last time, and it didn't seem to matter. But since there's 50,000 people out there, it's gonna tell me I'm doing it wrong because there's not a hole in it. I drilled a hole in it today. This little stick right here is my poker. Okay, that sucker is hot. Basically, you take your container with your 100% cotton t-shirt material in it, dump her in there and let her get hot. That's basically about all it is to it. You let the fire do all the work. That container will get hot enough uh, and it will uh, it'll decrease all that material down in size and it'll make it where it takes a spark like nobody's business because it's already been burnt so 
it'll, it'll be a lot easier to get started. It's like I need some more sticks. My deck, my deck's on fire. It's about had it anyway. I hope y'all can still hear me. I got my earbuds in, so I think maybe you can still hear what I'm saying. Hot. I hope everybody is having a blessed day today. Uh, try to maybe perhaps give y'all a better shot of what's going on here. My little tin with my 100% cotton is down inside that fire and she's getting hot you see all this little white smoke that's the gases coming out of that uh, hole in the tin probably basically you just burn it for about 10 minutes and uh, I usually use this if I need to heat some water up or something to that effect I use that to set a pot or a can or a water bottle on if I need to heat water up I use this for that it sits right on top watch out though coming at you all right y'all so I'm going to pause this again and uh, when I, everything is cooled off I'll show you what's inside all right y'all we're back I just got it out of the uh, out of the fire she's still a little hot There we go. I didn't let it burn for 10 minutes like I usually did. I thought it might be good. But uh, as you can see, most of this will work for charcoal off. We still got some little areas there that are out, still hot. And it, uh, it didn't burn all the way. But 90% uh, of this right here will be fine for charcoal off. Uh, and so that's that's how you make it. I keep buying it in a Ziploc bag. Uh, anyhow, I think that'll just about do it. Uh, get yourself a, a metal container. Something you don't care. You know, drill your hole on top of it. Make you some char cloth. Have you some fire starting options. Appreciate everybody watching. We appreciate... Uh, all the new subscribers and the new folks that are coming to the channel. Um, this is the Ugly Prepper. Y'all have a blessed day.